Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And you have joined me just as I'm growing some crops to run the culinary generator. That is, yeah, that is. And um, this week the pack has been updated and there's been some stuff taken out. I'm not sure what, there was a couple of entries saying that um, there's some entries missing in the pack, which is fine. I don't think it really affects us, but I did find when I go into the quest book, it looks slightly different. And it also says that chapter one, that these last couple of quests, they don't have a check mark next to them. However, if you click on it, Oh no, it says that I haven't crafted the water bucket. Okay, because we've done these. These have check marks. And that one is just the water bucket. Okay. Um, the new thing about the quest book now, when it gives you a task, you can, when you hover over it, it says click to view the recipe. And you can see what the recipe is. So, okay, let's try that. Uh, H2O. Where's hydrogen? Where's my hydrogen? Hydrogen, I just saw hydrogen. Let's get a stack of that. And, oh, we don't have a stack of water. We have 16 water. So, oh, not water, oxygen. I don't think we have any more oxygen. Do we have any here? No, because after last week's episode, I went back into the nether to try and kill some more zombie pigment because I was going to make a sky block style mob farm and um, I was digging under one of the zombie pigment and I hit him and... Um, they don't really aggro as such. They do, but not as bad as it would be in a vanilla game. So it's like all the ones in the immediate area would aggro, but not any of the zombie pigmen further out. So it wasn't it, it wasn't too bad, actually. So I managed to kill some more zombie pigmen and get those quests, get the stuff for those quests. But we'll look at that in a minute. I just want to, let's see... Go into the quest book. I think that's the hold up because there's no check mark next to it. Um, chemical combiner, water in the middle, and a bucket underneath. Do we have. Is our bucket full of lava? It is. Okay. Well, then I think we need to go over here and put our lava bucket in here. Hopefully it won't burn down the place. And let's make that water. So the quest book has been updated. Um, H... If I put a two, nope. How are we going to find this? Water, okay. Um, oh, there it is. And of course, all the all the recipes have been lost. So I have to resave. Okay, so how much do we get if we put in 16 oxygen and I think we probably only needed one, didn't we? I've just gone and wasted all my oh <laughs> didn't think about that. Although we can um I'm pretty sure we can use it. Oh, we need 16 anyway. 
We needed 16 anyway. Resume. There you go. It was that was the hold up. That was the hold up. There were a couple of new ones in the quest book, so after there's a couple of check marks, I had to go back in and it was just pretty much read read the thing, click the check mark, you don't get a reward. Uh, we have what are we missing with that? Um dirt and more task screens, okay. But all of these are now clicked as yeah, they're now clicked, so now that's completed. Chapter two we now have some extra quests somewhere here. Because now bef before it was go to the nether and then it was green antimatter. And now it's um you have to kill 16, 16 zombie pigmen, which I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll probably have to go and do it again. Uh, we have a lava, we got a lava bucket, you just saw it. So we get 16 netherrack. And, oh, I did that. Yeah, I did that. I know, because we haven't killed the zombie pigmen. Okay. Let's go into the into the nether. Let's go kill some zombie pigmen. Do I have enough iron to make a sword? I can't remember what we get iron from. Cuz I know you need 16 Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm not thinking. At anti antimatter? No, alchemical. Al al right, that's it. And then iron. That's what we wanted. So from the chemical dissolver. Obviously iron stuff. Cobblestone. You've only got 0.5% of iron. I know we went through this already, I vaguely remember going through this, but I don't remember what else gives us iron. There was something that had a high chance of getting iron. It's light grey antimatter, and dark, dark grey antimatter had a higher chance, and dark grey antimatter was white antimatter around tungsten. Okay. Do we have any tungsten? Tungsten was W. So if we get a ton of, a ton? A stack of tungsten. And eight stacks of white antimatter. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Put that in the middle and surround it by white antimatter. Light, uh, that give us grey antimatter. And then if we at least put a couple of stacks in there, that should get us quite a bit of iron for now. Right, so we have that. Then we, oh no, we can't make an iron sword. Well, we could make a basic iron sword. But I would like to make a tinker's iron sword. But then that would involve a smeltery, and we don't have stuff to make a smeltery yet. Ah, okay, I think we're going to have to make a basic iron sword then. Alright, so we've got a stack of iron out of that. Um, unlock recipe. We want iron ingots. Ingots. If nothing else, Minecraft teaches me how to spell. <laughs> okay. So we should get 
four, four ingots out of that, which is more than enough to get an iron sword. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to make a, a, a tinker's sword, but unfortunately, oh, but wait a minute, we have, we have nether quartz. We can put a modifier on our, on our tinker sword. Oh, that's a stone sword. It's not even a tinker sword. Okay, let's make a tinker sword then. Well, this certainly isn't going in the direction I thought it was going to go in today. Let's chop you down so we can make some patterns and stuff. Let's get the stuff out of the trees. I guess I should have made a tinker set up before. I wasn't really thinking. I guess because it was a shiny new pack and stuff. Because, you know, we all love that new pack smell. And I tend... When I do mod packs I tend to follow the quest book rather than just you know do my own thing okay so we need a chest we need some planks which we have we need some sticks which we have and let's see if I remember how to do this. All right, two sticks, two planks. That will give us eight blank patterns. A blank pattern on top of a plank will give us the stencil table. A blank pattern above a chest will give us a pattern chest. Um, a blank pattern above a log will give us the tool table, part builder. And a blank pattern above a crafting table will give us the uh, part tool, ta tool station. So we have that. And then, did we get any more iron? We got more iron. If we, yeah, that's locked there. I know, wrong thing. Put it in the hopper. Let's get another stack of grey antimatter. Actually, we'll probably need two stacks. And put that in. Okay, why is my liquefier on top there? Did I never use it? Did I never, I don't know, show recipes. I guess we did use it, but once, because we wanted to get the water from, yeah, that's right. We only used it the once. All right, so we're getting some more iron from that. You got a stack there. Can we get three more? No. There has to be an easier way to make iron though. Okay, that, so that should give us... Um, okay. That should give us quite a bit of iron. I don't know if it's enough to make the tool forge. If it is, because to make the, I oh know, but we still need seared bricks. Yeah, so we still can't do it. I was kind of hoping to make a tool forge. I think I probably just went through that thought process, didn't I? Okay, so we've got 17 blocks of 
blocks 17 ingots of iron which is pretty cool okay um but no i was saying see i knew I'm, my mind my mind just wanders all over the place but i'm going to get there eventually i could make a tinker's sword and then add the sharpness modifier to it so let's put down Now I prefer, let me see, do we need the furnaces, Ferni? I could move you out the way, because you're not needed right now. My pattern chest is there. I prefer to put everything in a cross around the pattern chest, and that way I know I will access everything equally. And move you from there. And then once you put them all down, you can access all of the parts. So did we have any extra? We do have extra blank patterns. Stencil table, put the blank patterns in there. We need a sword blade pattern. We need a cross guard, wide guard. I think that's it. If I click on tool station and click on the sword, um, we've got the wide tool, the sword blade, we have the wide guard, we need a tool rod. Part builder, no. Stencil table, tool rod, hover over, yes. We've got one of those. And we can put those in the pattern chest. And then go to the part builder. We'll make the tool rod out of wood. only needed two that's fine even though they look the same they won't stack it's two separate things um, the wide guard we will make that out of wood as well and then the sword blade will make that out of stone Um, park builder. Okay. No, it didn't need to come out. I keep forgetting that. Tool station, sword. Put it. You can also shift click it in, and you can name it. I'll just name my sword Bob, because why not? And now, on Bob, we have, let me see, if we put Bob in the middle, we have three modifiers. I have nether quartz here. Tool station. So we'll put it here in, in the slot surrounding the tool. And it uses up a modifier and it gives me the sharpness trait. And also, oh, it didn't up my durability, but it made my attack faster, which is brilliant. If we could make diamond, how do you make diamonds? Because, I mean, in the real world, you make diamonds from uh, carbon. Let's see what is the infused diamond. Okay, uh, chemical combiner. A stack, eight stacks of carbon. Can we do that? Because if we have a dime, if we put a diamond on it, it will give us a sharp, it will give us an extra zing on our sword. Carbon is C. We have 55. I don't think that's eight stacks. No, that was nowhere near eight stacks. Okay, it was just worth a thought. At least we know what we need. Right, do I have any carbon? We got, well, 12. 
that's not anything. Okay. Well, let's go in now. Let's drop off some of this stuff as well. If I put in charcoal, does that give me carbon? I don't know, but we're we're not going to look at that right now. We're just going to empty out our inventory. Bring our bring Bob. And let's go into the nether. I just remembered last time I was supposed to fix the sound. Seeing that we've updated the pack, I haven't looked at the sound yet. Um, music and controls, master volume. Let's bring it down to 9%. So hopefully that isn't as loud as it was last time. Okay, there is the mob farm I was making. I attempted to make. I don't even know if it's... Yeah, stuff should spawn in there. But I was trying to... I was trying to put holes down here. Where's all the zombie pigmen gone? There were tons of them. And I aggroed one and had to quickly get myself on top of a pillar as you can see do we not have any zombie pigmen yeah i hear you Okay, we have one lone zombie pigment. Oh, there's the ghast. Okay, he's going to kill him. Oh, I need food. Just realised I need food. Because in my infinite wisdom, I didn't bring me food. Do I have enough to make a loaf of bread at least? Um, I made, what did I make last time? I made, um, soup. Do I have any soup left? I have three beetroots, it's not enough to make soup. Now I have three bowls, so that means I ate all of the soup. Let's see what's in the loot crate. White antimatter and nitrogen, okay. Um, actually we got some more dirt, we should plant the seeds that we have. So at least then we have, um, we have more wheat growing. Where are we? Pickaxe. We have apples have a furnace and there's no um, tiny progressions right oh yeah so we have cooked apples oh that is awesome cooked apples that is such a great resource to have uh, let's put down the furnace and also we can power the furnace with a bucket of lava. So, where's our bucket gone? No, it was in the top. So, pick that up. Put it in our furnace. Let's cook some apples. Do we have any more apples? Cooked apples, best thing ever. I guess you saw how much hunger and saturation I got. Okay, that's gone up halfway. 
which is good. That is awesome. Now we're back at full strength. Let's go and kill some more zombie pigmen. Oh, you know what? Bring some more food. Shane, you don't learn, do you? I didn't... Right, three cooked apples. That should be enough. Let's put that on my hot bar. Put the dirt out of the way. And let's go again. Right, the zombie pigmen seem to have forgotten me. Oh, there's one over there. Where you going, buddy? Right, that's two down. How many are we supposed to kill? Ten? Six? Let's just go under here for a second. Um, sixteen. We've only got three. Let's go take our life in our hands. Are you coming for me? You might be. No, you're not. Let's get you anyway. I don't want the gas to see me. That's the problem. Yeah, you go down. <laughs> Nope. I can't believe I'm sitting here going, where are all the zombie pigmen? Come and kill me, zombie pigmen. That seems to be like going against the very fabric of nature. Okay, that was what, four? So we have a quarter done. Where's the other one? Did I kill him? No, I didn't. Right, I got you. So I think I'm going to cut away and then I will come back once I've killed all of them. Okay, I'm back. I died. Which isn't surprising. So hopefully, it's down there. At least I got to keep all my levels. And you insert your key and you get all your stuff back. Thank you. I am back. I am just about to complete that quest. I only had to kill two. I've killed more than two. So, there's that. There's just this stupid little zombie pigman to get the baby one. Okay, I got the one that killed me. We are done. No, you killed, and there's no rewards. Fine. That's fine. I don't care. We got loot boxes. The loot boxes can will help. They don't really ease the pain, but they will help. 
so let's see what we got for uh, we've got 19 loot crates, a zombie head, sulphur, well the dirt we had before, and grave dust. So let's put away all the extra stuff. And let's... Nitrogen, the white antimatter. Yeah, that's something new. That when you hover over certain things, the NBT data comes up like that. Um, put away the rotten flesh. So let's open this. You can, as far as I remember, you shift and then right click, and that opens everything. So 16 rubidium, 16 oxygen, 8 carbon, 8 sulfur, 6 hassium, 6 potassium, 3 caffeine, 2 zinc, and 1 magnesium sulfate. Which isn't too bad. And also, now that we've done that, there were two quests that I finished um, in between uh, episodes. So that is green antimatter. I did a stack of that. That gives me four more loot crates. And then I also did, I also got 16 tellurium. Because you had to get that from the fish, if I remember correctly. And we got some netherrack from that. And then they want eight protein. I'm pretty sure we have eight protein in here. We've got 18. So there's that. And that gives us um, eight more protein. What else? Oh, the hang glider. We're not going to get that yet. Dig up a stack of soul sand. Well, I'll have to go back and look for that, but I can do that in between episodes. There's nothing you need to see on camera. And the hang glider. Oh, yes, because we need to make the leather. Okay, anything else? Get nether wart. Uh, the fishing pole we did. And the cobblestone generator. Oh, that's. Oh, that needed double compressed cobblestone, which is 81 blocks. We need a lot of cobblestone. That was what was getting us. Okay, so we... I need to make some cobble. Is there anything else we can do? we got the string. we got the fishing rod. We need... To, oh, what's this? Um, they want selenium. Did we get any selenium? They want eight. We have four. Okay, I'm back. I have ten selenium. And we only want eight. Goes that way. If I click on that, it goes... Oh, do I need both of them? I need both of them to do that. Oh, that is a pain. Because if you look at the... Qu when I click on it, both the fishing rod and the nether wart are pointing towards fishy matter. So I need to go and find a fortress. Oh well. Well okay, well in that case I think this is where we're going to end the episode. But we did get a lot done. I made a proper tinker set up so that I can create better um better tools. I made a better sword and I killed lots of zombie pigment and got killed twice. But that's nothing new for me. I'm always getting killed. So in between episodes, I'm going to have to go and have a good old scout in the nether, see if I can find another fortress, and get some nether wart and see if we can go from there and start making um, cobblestone so we can make a cobblestone generator. So thanks very much for watching. It really, I really appreciate it. I like reading your comments so please comment and subscribe you give you guys give me some really useful tips and tricks and i will see you in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye